is Vest from X Force again. We Scott from X Force, and today we bring you a sort of an oldie, but it's a revamped. <laughs> so <coughs> the classic M two four nine minimize saw. Um, so this one's version four. Now we've had a few of them now throughout the years. Um, I, remember, I think the first one, hard to sort of remember that one, but that was terrible. Um, I was always afraid of picking that one up because it might break in my hands. Um, this one is made by, what do we say? Zehuo? Zehuo? Something like that. Something like that. Starts with a Z and there's a couple other letters after. Yeah. One of these um, Chinese ones. So, you do get a... And I forget about that. It's, it's like an IKEA catalog. There's a lot of pictures. You can actually work out how to put yeah. stuff together. The that. whole thing's in Chinese, all right? So unless you're Chinese, there are a few good pictures there you can have a look at. Um, you get your bag with the battery. Uh, 7.4. Yep, USB charger and uh, about 2,500 gels, which... Toss them. Yeah, use them for a grenade. Um, get yourself some oranges or pinks or whatever and run one, it through these. One waves. of the benefits that was uh, with this one compared to some of the older ones is I remember a few years ago, the little handle was plastic, so you could pick it up and run, and that little sucker would snap. So at least it's a, a little bit of metal for your, your carry handle now. The carry handle on this one, awesome. Full metal, uh, this part here, that's nylon, yeah. I think. Uh, so really solid handle. The rest of it, um, all plastic, but all nylon by the looks of it. So very decent, quite so still hollowish. Um, it is hollowish, but it's still got the, the structural rigidity there. So it's, yeah. it's got a good bit of body. Uh, and if you're holding it, you know, it's it's still quite light. So I mean, this is one thing about this. When you're looking at it, I was like, ah, that's a it's a chunky it's a big rifle you know it's but you pick it up like it's lighter than most yeah um so even though it's a big <coughs> rifle you can hold it easily one or two hands without getting overly tight if you're going to run it's great sucker. for young kids as well because it's got the drum which is going to hold a couple thousand rounds yeah. you can get it for a, a young kid who can put a grip on a little picatinny here and, and run around and be that squad support so Easy access through the side there means reloading is Just super easy. Speed loader straight into it. Um, I'd run one of these with the one of the speed loaders, and you'd yep. probably never run out of ammo in any game um, unless you're seriously trigger happy with it. Well, for the it is a Gen 8 gearbox as well, so mm -hmm. there is no single fire. Yeah. Um, because of being a, a little trusty Gen 8, though, I'm going to stick a it's a 460 short. Uh, blue, mm. alloy barrel, um, some metal gears, Speaking and 11 volt. Barrel. Hey, that bit comes off. Too plastic. So your your barrel is literally just there. Um, so that is an. So you could, if you do end up changing, which I would advise, it is mm. a plastic barrel in there. To upgrade to a metal one, I would literally get it. A little bit longer and make it sort of end somewhere here um, and then yeah you've got that sort of extra bit of barrel which will should give you a bit more I'll go 7.3 just because it's that yeah. little bit of um, tighter ID will up my FPS without putting more stress on my box mm. so an M90 I should be hitting about 300 so I still unshoot the kids yeah so um, I think was, where was the battery? In here. Two little uh, screws with Allen key. You get the yep. Allen key in the little bag. So, uh, in there, um, there's a on and off button there. So, that's kind of your safety switch there. Yeah. Uh, it does. Oh, that's a drop your mag. Oh, that's your drop your mag. So, yeah. On and off. And then you shoot full just, auto. There just is like no. Like a Gen 8. It's, there is no. Um, Fire select safety. It's uh, it's literally on, off, and go for your life. Uh, With uh, the little bipod as well, that is plastic, so mm. don't treat it like a, a high quality one. Yeah, 
You can um, certainly get a, another one. That, is, that yeah. is a bit of Picatinny rail there, so you could get a decent bipod and, and put it on there. But I mean, you get that one for now. 150 bucks, you can't go wrong, really. Yeah. She's a great little, um, use it as a platform to build off for something fun. Mm. Uh, we've got a few people who are doing uh, some builds up in my shop. So it's the exact same thing as what I'm doing, just making it uh, reliable, robust. Yep. You know, just something I can treat like dirt, really. So well, These are great. I mean, having a Gen 8 in there, you could chuck a 1.25 or M100 mm. uh, without probably breaking the gears. Um, M1, M90, whatever you sort of feel comfortable with. Uh, O-ring and a metal barrel. This should be kicking up around about... 293. Yeah, the high twos, the 300. Um, and then with that extra bit of barrel, probably with a hop up up top, you, this would be a really good uh, little blaster. Um, if he's really liking uh, comments underneath, Mm. I'll write a list of what I do to mine and what I'm getting out of it, or we can even do another video later if there's enough people who say, show us yours with uh, the blue chi high and aloe barrel. Mm. We can actually compare the difference, that way it's, if you guys really want it, we will actually take the time to listen to yours and do the reviews, so. Yep. Just so, all in all, look, this, I know we've got a whole heap of great blasters these days, metal, blah, 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 shooting 300 plus out of the box. But for those guys that want to get into it, uh, don't want to spend the fortune or just want something that's a little bit different to yeah. your typical M4 or whatever, this is that little bit different. It's not heavy, it's light to carry, uh, it's not going to break. Uh, Younger time. kids or people like me have fallen down ladders, hit by cars, bad backs and shoulders mm. you know something light that i can still not have to do any cardio and just yep. fire suppression for mates yeah. all so. in all uh you know ain't nothing wrong I, you know i can't say like wow but ain't nothing wrong with this blast and at 150 dollars mm. uh you really can't beat the price you say wow the price yeah wow so the price is great um great platform to build off yeah is how i view it it's it's something I can have fun with with the mates. I can modify it being a Gen 8. Heaps of people have done a lot to them. Mm. So there's that knowledge in the community there. Yeah. So Still plenty of parts around. Yeah. Uh, and it doesn't take much, like I said, O-ring, spring, yeah. metal barrel. I mean, or really, that's, uh, you know, you can stage one this thing for, you know, less than $30 in parts. Yeah. Um, so that is cheap. Uh, and then, you know, a hop-up is going to be another 20, 30 bucks and you're done. Yeah. You know, you literally got yourself a, lit a blaster that will go on any field um, mm. for, for FPS. Uh, it, you know, it should be, it's reasonably powerful. It should be pretty accurate with those sort of numbers. And you're going to have a hell of a lot of ammo at your disposal. Yeah. You don't have to worry about changing mags, at, That's fine. you know, every couple of minutes. So it'll just be a fun good to sort of run around with blaster uh, either for yourself your kids whatever i think it's yeah it's a decent uh platform run with your mates and use as a squad support weapon yep so. uh, there are those guys that just want to like sit back and just do the cover fire uh these these have been used quite a lot yeah um for that sort of a uh, gameplay so all in all um you know the version 4, as we call in this one, is definitely better than the last few. Um, I think 3 wasn't too bad, it was still a bit plasticky. The handle wasn't, wasn't bad, it was okay, but this one, I can definitely vouch for this one. The this solid one's stock very nice. solid, solid stock. Um, the last one, the V3, had the, um, the collapsible stock. Oh, okay, yeah, so I can't, that's what I prefer I can't that remember one anymore that one. That's because you're old. Yeah, uh, bad memory, getting too old. But very solid stock on this. Uh, yeah, like I said, full nylon. You really don't have to worry too much yeah. about breakages and all that sort of thing. If you aren't being super clumsy and rough with it. Um, all in all, good base. Um, I think 
you know, definitely a thumbs up for yep. us, for price and everything. Uh, good blaster. We'll uh, take you guys down and uh, give it a bit of a shot and see how it goes. You bringing them closer to have a look or? Uh, we can do a bit of a close up. There ain't all that much going on with it, but. It looks uh, pretty for what it is. Yeah. That's your battery compartment there, so it's a bit of a pain getting in there just to, you gotta unscrew those, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, there you go. Easy access to your drum mag. I was shooting it before on pinks. Yep. So, big, big hold, even if you if you just had a, a the, your milk bottle or whatever, you can easily get it all in there, or your Coke bottle. That's it, look at that. That handle, nice and solid, and yeah, pretty pretty basic. Nothing wow or crazy out of the ordinary. Um, and let's see if we can get that up. There we go. Like I said, there's your barrel right there. So. Could certainly extend it that little bit coming out, uh, but yeah. All right, and like I said, that bipod you do have a bit of Picatinny there. Uh, you got one, but you can definitely could use something a bit more decent there. But otherwise, yeah, if you don't care, it's a decent little bipod to to start off with. All right. Let's go shoot this sucker. Hey guys, back at our range here with the M249 saw. Uh, so this is the version four. I'm gonna give it a bit of a test. Obviously, I can't do semi. It's just gonna be straight up full. At least we won't run out of gels. No, I won't. Um, so a bit of a. Super accurate. I mean, I'm constantly hitting that bullseye. Really nice. Um, this is obviously telling me that FPS is not super high, uh, but this way you get lower FPS. Very accurate. Shooting for days. For days. Especially for, like, if you're taking younger kids out, they can pull the trigger and hang off it for a little and it will take it. Yep. Uh, let's have a look, sir. Just trying to look and see what sort of numbers. But yeah, fairly same, same. So. Sort of an average, it gives us the 207. There was one thing that was under two. I'd say around the 210, really. Got a few over, and around about the 29, 2527. It was hitting about 210 before when yeah. I was playing. 210, it was sitting on 210. I think I had one that was under. So, look, yeah, it ain't punching hard. My best bet is now with China. They need to, uh, with the new laws, they're trying to uh, have really low FPS in the in the, a lot of these gel blasts that are done by the gel blaster uh, manufacturers, because then they can class them more as a kid's toy or whatever. It most likely would be just a air leak with the T piece having Soft that spring. having the plastic barrel or and, and probably just because of the soft spring. So an upgrade like we were talking before with the uh, M100 or uh, 1.25 good. Um, will definitely get you there getting that uh, T-piece and barrel done uh, and an O-ring this thing I guarantee it I'd have to probably do one and just uh, check it and come back and uh, see but I'm sure some guys have probably done it already uh, Happy to have some comments below with anybody that has upgraded one. 
Uh, but I reckon... I'm getting mine done this week. Yep. Definitely a win for me. I, I think it's a good little blaster for starters. It's, it's kind of like your Gen 8s in that sort of price range. It's light. It's decent. Uh, yeah, I can't really knock it. Pretty decent. Saves you changing mags. Yeah. yeah. I'm definitely not for one of those to sit there and change mags. I'm a drum guy, you know. I'm too lazy for that. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that helps. Um, remember, stop and think. Bag that uh, baby in a, in a bag while you to and from the field. And let's keep this going for a long time. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time with some more good stuff. Thank you.